What's going on? Brian Song here, and welcome to the Apple Bits for everything good and bad inside the world of Apple. And last week, we talked about what the iPhone 12 Pro could look like, but we've got some new reports and details for the entire family of 2020 iPhones. Now, the screens for all three iPhone sizes are all expected to be OLED displays in 2020. A new report from Korea's ET News says Samsung will continue to provide those screens but this time around, Samsung will be able to eliminate a separate touch sensitive layer in the screen, which will make them even thinner specifically for the 5.4 and 6.7 inch OLED iPhones. Now the touch functionality will be built into the display and this on-cell touch OLED panel is called Y-Octa technology according to Samsung display. The display for the lower end 6.1 inch iPhone previously used an LCD display, but in 2020, it will be an OLED, just not an OLED with the thinner touch panel Y Octatech that we just talked about. Apple, you know, they weren't afraid of making its iPhone 11 Pro thicker and heavier than the previous generation. And the trade-off this year was a longer battery life that everyone who had the new iPhone just loved from day one. People are also still loving, guess what? Apple's AirPods and AirPods Pros, they continue to be just ridiculously popular. Well, a recent report from Bloomberg said the new AirPods Pro are receiving a much higher than expected demand. Apple's told its suppliers to double up its production to them to 2 million units per month. The regular AirPods production levels have also been asked to be bumped up at their factories. Now, a recent report from Digitimes, which, you know, isn't always on the money, claims Apple is now considering bundling AirPods with their 2020 iPhones. And this sounds great, but they have never, never done anything like this. It just goes against their philosophy of maximizing profits. Plus, they already know people buy them separately anyways. But you know what? Okay, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Even if they do any type of bundle, it's not like you're going to get a deep discount. It'll probably just end up being the same price whether you bought them together or separately because you know what? That's Apple. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. Also, if you're still looking for some cool tech and gaming gifts to buy your loved ones, you should check out my holiday gift guide that I just put recently put together with my friends at Yahoo. There's absolutely some Apple gear in there, but I also have some other recommendations. They're all my personal picks. So click the link in the description of this video to watch that video. It's my holiday gift guide with Yahoo and I wouldn't tell you to watch it if it wasn't worth it. Okay, let's get to some cool patent news in the Apple world. The Big A has been granted a patent for an augmented reality headset that lets you hear the location of people in a room even if they aren't in the room. It looks like it's initially more for a business tool, like in a conference call where you can turn to face someone and then the audio would adjust itself like you were in the actual meeting room. This is just an initial patent, but this could extend far beyond work and it's easy to see just how this could be used for video calls with a family or with media and entertainment for consumers. And Apple Card users, I know you only really bust that thing out to buy Apple stuff or just look at that shiny metal thing and that's okay, I kid you not, I'm still waiting to get the thumbs up for mine. I've pretty much given up and you know, I'm not really missing that much until maybe now. The Apple Card will now receive 3% daily cash if you use it for Apple Pay purchases at Nike stores, nike.com, in the Nike app, or even the sneakers app when they drop new shoe releases. That's if you even get anything on the sneakers app because it's nearly impossible to get any rare drops anymore. And that's just me being salty, but it's great to have another brand to get on board with the Apple Card and hopefully more big brands jump on it to make it more useful. And you know what? I'm going to wrap this up in some kind of sad but expected news. Johnny Ive has officially been removed from the Apple leadership page on his oh. website after designing some of the world's most iconic products for almost 30 years at Apple. Like, I've cried about it already. You've seen that. So thank you, Johnny, for all of your amazing contributions Except for the battery case, the iPhone battery case, like I really hope you didn't design that or signed off on it or had anything to do with it. I mean, that thing is just horrible looking. Even with that new camera button on it, it's still ugly. All right, if you like this video, thumbs up, subs up, and hit that notification bell to get all my videos when they drop. Ding! You can also check out my weekly Apple Bits XL audio podcast where we just go for a deep dive into all the latest stories each week with special guests. And you can support all my independent content at Patreon dot com slash brian tong and includes the podcast and helps me just allow me to keep making content like this so thanks so much for watching everybody take care and be safe and we'll talk to you soon peace